A dignified pavilion rises behind the main entrance of the magnificent Ming necropolis, named Shisanling, which is located about 50 kilometers northwest of Beijing. The necropolis of the ancient Chinese dynasty covers an area of almost 40 square kilometers and contains numerous treasures. A large marble pillar gives this pavilion its name. The pillar rests on top of a turtle, a Chinese symbol for the universe and immortality. Seven kilometers long, the holy avenue of the Ming necropolis is lined with numerous beautiful stone figures. At the beginning of the 20th century, the avenue of stone statues, known also as the Way of the Souls, was in disrepair but today it is the main feature of this historic site. Twelve pairs of animals and six pairs of humans are depicted in postures of both praise and submission. Each one of them was made out of one massive rock. The human statues symbolize the guards of honor of the 13 Ming emperors that are buried here. These statues were designed to protect the necropolis from evil spirits. Even at the rear, the soldiers' suits of armor were made with great care and attention to detail. The location of the entire necropolis was discovered during a great ceremony in the year 1407 so-called geomancs, fortune tellers, chose the location for the graves. The careful selection of this beautiful setting for the necropolis was meant to guarantee the presence of positive spiritual forces. ends in front of the Dragon and Phoenix Gate. This is where, during solemn rituals, the dead emperors were carried to their graves. Ding Ling, the mausoleum of the 13th Ming Emperor Wan Li, is one of three restored grave sites. Elegant stairs decorated with beautiful stone masonry lead up to the terrestrial section of the mausoleum. According to ancient Chinese tradition, an earthly section had to be built for the soul of the dead in which the soul would be comforted. For this reason, these magnificent buildings and great halls were designed in the style of the Empress Palace. The expenditure for the royal funerals was without limit. It took almost six years and around 30,000 workers to build the grave complex for Emperor Wan Li. It 
It was only by accident in the 1950s that archaeologists discovered an inscription which led toward the entrance of the underground section of the mausoleum. Shortly afterwards, the burial vault of Ding Ling was opened. 27 meters beneath the ground lies the real grave of Wan Li. The burial vault, which contains the emperor and his two wives, consists of several halls and many valuable gifts. The construction of this burial chamber cost twice as much as one year's ground tax income for the entire country. To the present, only this burial vault has been opened. Therefore, Ding Ling is the only grave that can give its visitors a complete insight into its architecture, design and funeral rituals. Chang Ling is the largest mausoleum of the necropolis. It was built for Emperor Yongle, who reigned during the beginning of the 15th century. This extremely well restored gravesite has a darker side to it. It is believed that 16 living concubines were buried here together with the emperor. It was not until the sixth emperor of the Ming dynasty that the horrific custom of burying the living with the dead came to an end. The splendid architecture for the dead rulers remained in place. The sacrifice hall of Chang Ling is crowned with a beautiful curved roof. This hall features an extensive collection of discoveries from the Wan Li gravesite. The value and beauty of many of the funeral gifts is quite astonishing. Apart from four crowns that are each decorated with 5,000 jewels, there are also several world-famous Ming vases. Year after year, the Ming necropolis attracts many visitors. The idyllic surrounding landscape merges harmoniously with the magnificent buildings of this ancient Chinese dynasty.